Hi, I'm Bad at Chaos. I'm the senior mapper for TE. It's a David Defeat Source Clan. And today I'm going to show you the very, very basics of Source SDK Hammer. And uh, first off, you need to start by going to File, New, to create a new map. And what you'll get is these four panels. Each panel is a different uh, perspective. These three are grids uh, that show the world geometry of uh, you know the level that you're creating and this um, you'll, you'll understand once we get going and um, this is the camera screen that lets you view in 3D your level that you've designed this is the selector tool that you use to click on you know objects and you're able to move them around the magnification tool which really doesn't do anything <laughs> The uh, camera tool, which allows you to, um, you know, more easily move the camera without the keyboard. Um, then you have the entity tool. The entity tool you know, helps you place models, spawn points, things of that nature. Um, this is the block tool, which is used for creating blocks, cylinders, and other things that you know eventually make up your level. These two tools right here are used for making, or not making, but uh, changing textures on the on the blocks that you make. Um, these two are for changing decals and uh, adding overlay textures. And these two, uh, this is the clipping, and this is the vertex tool. Both are very useful for changing and manipulating the shape of blocks that you've made in your level. Okay, I'm going to start off by um, first choosing a texture, and the texture is located over here, if not up here, it depends on how uh, your tables are orientated on your screen. I'm not sure the default is, but anyways, <laughs> uh, current texture, and it's set to rain. We probably don't want rain for the floor, because, well, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, nor you can hit this drop down menu, you can select from the hundreds of textures, but of course that's not a very easy way to look at it. So what we can do, you can hit browse, and this new window pops up of several different textures. You can scroll along similar to how you did before. You can also change the size of the preview image. Um, but anyways, um, there's also a filter bar here. You could type in, I'm going to type in grass because I'm trying to make a, a ground, a floor. Let's go with some uh, Argentan grass. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Let me choose a different one. Here we go. And I'm going to use the block tool to create the ground. I'm going to click and drag on this grid right here. This is the top down view. And once I have created my square, I'm going to hit enter to create it. And as you can see, it came up on the camera. Right now, the camera is located inside of it. And um, basically, all you need to do to control the camera is uh, click on the camera and then click anywhere on the camera panel click and hold your mouse down and um, you can use WASD was to control the camera as if you were you know in game alternatively you can use um, right click instead of left click and you could pan back and forth you can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out you can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the um, the grids doesn't matter which one. Um, Alright, now we're going to need to create a wall so the player does not fall off into the void of nothingness. Let me see here. Let's choose stone. I uh, I like the um, David Defeat Source stone texture. It's pretty nice. I'm going to create it starting here at the edge of the floor. Uh, I'm going to raise it up for a few more units. And as you see, as I create it in the grid, it's starting to appear in the um, in the camera screen. It has a preview of where it would be. And there's my first wall. Now let's create a second wall on the other edge right here. Click and drag that down. Hit enter to create it. And here we go. We have two walls. Now instead of... Um, creating more walls in that fashion, I'm going to copy and paste them. However, uh, as you would in you know normal windows, you can con hold control and then control click to con you know to select multiple objects. 
Uh, anyways, I'm going to hit Control C to copy and Control V to paste. However, they are not in the right uh, position. They they're not <laughs> they're not going to be able to match up against this uh, side of the wall over here. So we can rotate them. There are two ways to rotate things. Uh, as you can see in the grid right here, um, as you can see in the grid right here, it is um, there's white boxes around each corner, and that represents that. Well, you could stretch it. You can move in and out and change its shape. However, uh, that that's not what we want to do. We want to rotate. So <laughs> you click on it and you'll see the boxes change into circles. And uh, here you can rotate it around like, like so, as you see. However, um, a lot of times it ends up being rather messy and not very precise. So what I prefer to do is go to Tools, Transform, and then a transform window will come up and you can hit rotate, make sure rotate is selected and then on the uh, z-axis I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees to spin it all the way around and there you go, I just need to slide it into place and we have ourselves a wall a complete uh, box oh, however we do need to put a ceiling on that box so we're going to go to sky or skybox. Uh, let's go to the very, very bottom. Let's click right here. And there, and now we have a box, or our level. However, uh, we, if we were to compile this right now and try to load it into our game, we will not be able to get into it because there are no spawn points. To create spawn points, we need to select the entity tool, which is on the uh, left side right here. It's shaped like a light bulb. Click on that. And then, and then on the right side of the screen, um, depending on what uh, game you're in. Um, right now, I'm in uh, Day Defeat Source because that's that's the primary you know, the primary game I play. So the um, the spawn points for this game are a little bit different than like say Deathmatch or Counter Strike. In that, in like Counter Strike, would be counter terrorists and terrorists. In this case, it is allies and Axis, because this is World War II. Anyway, so I'm going to place one of each, just so that once I get in the game, I can join from any team. And then also, I need to, since this is Data Defeat Source, I need to add a info player start. Uh, it just it just needs that to operate. Here are my two spawns, or three spawns. I should say this one doesn't really count. So here are my two spawns, and there we have a completed level. You can now compile it. However, first we should save. File, save as. I'm just going to save it as SDK underscore tester, tester3. I don't know. And uh, that's about all I have for right now. In my next videos, uh, my next set of videos, I'll talk about changing textures and I'll talk about the vertex and clipping tools and if I have time I might get around to using the arc ability and the cylinder and whatnot under here for the block tool to create cylinders and all kinds of fun stuff <laughs> alright thanks for stopping by I hope to inform you of cooler stuff soon so long, thanks.